I'm in uh, Penticton at the ECFC, which is uh, the first dual standard fast charger in BC. And I'm going to do a quick little video here and show you how it works. So this is uh, the station itself. The one on the left is a Chatamo connector. The one on the right is a, a CCS system. And we're going to hop on in there and touch the screen. Also going to see that in this one. I'm going to load up green lots because if you some of these stations you don't need. Oopsies, you probably didn't see that, but basically. Once you've got this app on your phone and you have signed in, you can go to any of the stations and just scan the QR code. It's right there, the scan. And boom, it pops up. And uh, we go, and I like this, you don't need to use this on all of them, but I, I like to use it on some of them because um, it'll send you an email when you're done and tell you how much electricity you used and such. You know, for most people you don't really care, but I'm kind of a geek that way and I like to know. So, I'm going to put the phone away. Grab the connector. So it's telling me which one do I want to get. So you, normally you don't have this choice, but obviously here we do. It's a 50 kilowatt unit. Let's grab the charging mode. Okay. There we go. The fast charger is the black one on my leaf. And boom, just like so. That's the new style Chatamo connector. So, which is a lot easier than the older ones. There we go, so it's going to get set up to talk to the car. About to pump an awful lot of electrons through really fast. So, well, that's interesting. So, my car reported 16%, and this thing's reporting 15%. And it's saying it's going to charge the car for about 38 minutes. So, the first part of this battery is going to be pretty fast. Let's go sit inside and we'll won't turn the car on, but we'll essentially put it in accessory mode. it wants to turn into accessory mode, I'll press it one more time to get this on. What I'm going to do is set the camera field into the GPS here. Let's change the screen. There we go. And let's see how long it, see how fast it's picking out. It's already at 22%. And uh, I'm just going to pop it. minutes and uh, we'll see how quick it goes and see what the battery take will look like. Actually this thing isn't really best set up for doing video so I'll watch it for another 30 seconds and then instead what I'll do is I'll set it on an interval timer to take a picture every minute and we'll still see a little bit of it from there. Fast charging. Just as an aside, my battery bars are currently at so one, two, three, four, five. I'll probably get to six by the time we're done charging. So I'll put it into interval mode now. I'll check back in later. For the first while I was filming it obviously and now I switched to interval shots every 20 seconds 
um, the very beginning of the of the shot we were watching. It was approximately 40 kilowatts when we were watching the movie there. Um, the interval shots that you're seeing right now on your screen uh, are this section, and uh, the power was around 32 kilowatts. I elected to film the percentages on my uh, car screen, so you didn't. Um, you know, it's uh, it's not perfect, but so I've graphed percentage versus uh, charging time here and pulled the timestamp from everything. So I'm uh, still charging up the car inside at the fast char fast charger in Penticton. I drove here from Kelowna with my bike on the back at regular traffic speeds, so you know, doing the speed limit plus five. And uh, with my bike on the outside, on the back. Yeah, right there. Hard to see it maybe, but that's it. And total consumption was pretty good. And because I was coming to the fast charger, I really didn't care about whether I used an extra percent or two. Because if you watch this for a minute, you'll see that I'm picking up range very fast. Here, we've been watching for... 15 seconds, and I've picked up a kilometer of range already. There's another one, and another 15 seconds. So, I'm doing a time interval shot with my camera, which I'll paste into a video later. It's taking a shot every 20 seconds and I want to try and capture the tapering effect. When the charge rate starts to slow down as the battery capacity gets higher, so when we were just watching, we were at the 60% mark, we're now, we're now watching it go up uh, through the 80s and into the 90s, and you can see that very clearly there is a, there is a taper point that starts pretty distinctly around the uh, perhaps 80% level, and then, uh, and then starts to flatten out even further towards 90%. So. Um, yeah, so I think I illustrated it fairly well. The other thing I just want to point out is the, the reason there's these, uh, they look kind of like a bit like a step uh, occasionally because um, because I was taking time interval shots every 20 seconds. So I didn't know the exact time stamp that it had flipped from one percent to another. So that's why it looks like a bit of a step in some spots. So it's not that it didn't actually gain any charge here. It was gaining charge. It just didn't look any different from one shot to the next. So that's why. The graph showed up like this, but the best fit, once you can see, shows that it's, um, it was approximately 15 kilowatts in this range and slowed down to about 10 kilowatts. Okay, so the charger just kicked off automatically. It um, it does that after, I don't know, I mean the charger talks to the battery and sorts it out when it's best to stop. And, uh, and it stopped at 93%. Normally it would stop lower than that, but uh, my battery is degraded somewhat. So 93% for me is kind of like, I don't know, like high 80s for somebody with a brand new car. And um, as I thought, we picked up one battery bar, so we're now at six battery bars. So we'll just pop back outside and, uh, oh yeah, and it's been, it's been um, about half an hour since I plugged it in. So we went from 16% to 93% for me, uh, which is pretty good. In half an hour, I think much faster than anything else I use on a regular basis, that's for sure. So here we are, back to the connector. It, the little red light is gone, so that means I can unplug it from the car now. So on this uh, new Tademo connector, all you do is slide the uh, slide this guy all the way forward and pull. It's that simple. We'll put it back in the spot. Oh, it's a bit of a stiff cord. Doesn't really want to slide into its little spot, but <clears throat> and it goes. There we are, and that's it. We're done. So normally I wouldn't have sat in the car for the whole time here. I would have walked through this walkway right there, and that takes you to Main Street. And there's all sorts of awesome cafes and little shops and things. But you really do only have half an hour, so um, perfect time to go grab a snack and go to a cafe, use the washroom, that kind of thing. And that's it from here in beautiful Penticton.
nice fall colors. 